So today I wanted to talk about the pecking order or the hierarchy of a goat herd so it gives you a better understanding on how to kind of understand that and then use it to your advantage when caring for your goats. So this goat here, this is my pygmy goat Henry, he's a really good boy but he's top, he's top goat, he's like in charge, look at him, he's really cool. But um, him and Oscar have this field here, they're both weather goats and then Phoebe and Maya are over there and they're slightly different, we'll talk about them later on but Henry he's in charge and there's kind of a couple of main things that influence the pecking order so obviously size of goat so male goats normally are stronger obviously and bigger and um, have more strength when kind of headbutting against the uh, females and that sort of thing so they're normally going to be in charge like Henry he's he's top goat he really is he's such a good boy as well which is really useful when you've got a your top goat who's in charge he likes to protect the herd but when you go in and he's just so friendly it's so great it's really really good and then another thing is their horns, because you can see Henry here has got some horns, but if he came up against a goat that didn't have horns, he's more likely to win because he can just probably whack him with those. If you spend more time observing your goats, you kind of start to understand who's in charge and you can kind of start to um, manipulate it a bit. So you want them obviously seeing you as the, the top goat, you know, to kind of be in charge, lead of the, the herd or whatever. But um, Henry is more dominant than Oscar for the reasons I just said. You want them to kind of respect you and understand you um, for what you want for them to do. Because if you're like coming in here, running around, playing, like trying to get them really excited and charging around, they're going to be a lot less well behaved and a lot less calm. So what you really want to do is just kind of be calm, be relaxed and kind of be very consistent with what you want them to do for example so like we're jumping up and you know Oscar when I had them quite small I wasn't really the best at uh, caring for them or training for them so basically I would have them jumping up at me all the time because I thought it was incredible and <laughs> really funny and it is quite funny to be fair but um it's just if I want Henry and Oscar to behave a lot better like they are now which they are because they're really good boys oh come on um, you want to be consistent with what you're telling them to do you don't want them to be constantly jumping up and you don't want to say, um, like encourage that sort of behavior and a couple of uh, things I can think of that is like headbutting people. Like if you're very loud and you go and once they headbutt someone, you go and give them a big hug and get very excited. It's not very good in the long term because they think that's good and they'll keep doing it. But um, if you can be calm, relaxed, and very consistent in what you're doing, it's good. And I thought I'd let you know a couple of things that you can use to kind of influence the pegging order, kind of to um, kind of change it how you want. One of the main things about influencing it is it can be used as a way to kind of calm the goats down, reduce aggression. Um, towards you and the other goats which is kind of why I built this hay feeder here we'll have a look at that in a second but it's really good so one thing I guess the main thing you can do is especially with male goats is like spread out where they're eating like give them two buckets or like a really long trough and one can eat at one end one can eat at the other and this is my favorite example for this hay feeder because obviously pygmy goats they don't eat loads and loads of hay compared to something like a boar goat um, I have this I give them hay twice a day just because they've got enough there and Henry can eat on this side and Oscar eats on the other side so they're not like fighting over it and it just means Oscar gets some hay. What I used to have them eating, um, Henry and Oscar would kind of headbutt and fight over it which was not very good um, and then Oscar wouldn't get as much as Henry but now Oscar can just stand on his side and just eat as much as he wants. So you can see Henry's on this side, Oscar's on this side but if we uh, just show you what I mean, so Henry, Henry, come on, Henry this side, if we can get Henry to come over here you'll see what, what he does. Oh wait, Oscar, eat your hay, go on. You can see Oscar's here eating from his side and if Henry comes around, hopefully, he'll show you what he does. He just comes through and then Oscar knows just to go to the other side because he won't get any hay if, if Henry has stood here as well. Right, here we go. There we go. Henry just comes over. Oscar moves off and Oscar goes back to this side. Well, he's going off to look in the trough for more food. But he knows to come around and then stand here and eat. There's a lot of loose hay as well, which is a bit annoying. They waste a lot. Yeah, look at him. He wants more food. <laughs> he's crazy. And while we're here, we'll talk about Phoebe and Maya. Come on. They might come over, they might not like the tripod to be fair. <laughs> here comes here comes Maya, look at her, she's got hay all over her face. Hey, what do you want? She's got hay all over her face, she's so funny. But uh, the girls are very different, I think, because they're a lot more relaxed. <laughs> they're a lot more relaxed when it comes to each other. Look, they just run up and they'll share quite happily together, which is good. I did want to make them something similar to what Henry and Oscar have got, but you can just see, they're quite happy eating, they share from their bowl, they sleep quite happily together. Oh, and that's another thing I thought I'd show you, because obviously Phoebe and Maya have the kind of smaller shed, they need a bigger shed like what Henry and Oscar have got when they get a bit bigger. But they sleep in here quite happily, they all like curl up together. But Henry and Oscar, right, they've got their shed here. We just step over. Henry will sleep right there behind the door on that side, and Oscar will sleep right there behind the door on that side. They don't really curl up together. And one final thing you can do with them, apart from obviously giving them separate places to eat, you can um, be more consistent obviously. And the kind of the third and final thing I'm going to say 
is feeding at consistent times um, every day, like coming out here, let's say eight o'clock every morning, come out here, feed them, come out here four o'clock every evening to come and check on them, feed them, do the water, that sort of thing. That sort of thing can be really beneficial for them because it gets them into a, a kind of routine and it, they kind of understand then when they're going to get food and when they're going to be fed and that can be really sort of kind of reducing that aggression towards you. So I've given you kind of three tips you can kind of implement with your goats if you're not already doing that to kind of reduce the aggression towards you and then each other as well. But I want to give you a bit of a goat trivia <laughs> to do with the goat sort of herd and how they kind of work. So normally you would have obviously the, the billy goats or the bucks or whatever you want to call them and they kind of defend the herd and they get to breed with all the females that sort of thing kind of your general knowledge I'm sure everybody knows that but if we look at um, a, a doe so a female goat they normally obviously make up a large part of the herd but they're the kind of the top doe the one who kind of leads the the herd everywhere is normally called the flock queen and basically she's in charge of taking the whole herd to go to places to graze to kind of pick out what to eat and what not to eat. A behaviour the flock queen sort of displays is when they find a poisonous plant or a plant they really can't eat, they'll basically snore and make like some sort of racket. And the whole herd will go over, sniff it and they'll go, okay, we can't really eat this, it's not very good for us. And then the, the, the billy goat, the buck will come over and just destroy it so they don't eat it and then they'll keep going and then they'll know in the future not to eat that, which is really quite interesting. In this sort of environment when you've got your goats in the field and they're quite separate, you don't really get to see that because obviously they're not a big herd and also you don't keep your billy goats with the females all year round so it's kind of just a, a thing you kind of see when they've got more space and it's left to do their thing but uh yeah that's that's cool i've got some goat trivia in there got some facts for you guys to use if you have goats or anything like that if you have any other questions do leave them in the comments down below and i'm sure i'll make a video on them or reply to them down there that'd be really cool but they're all doing good i've got to go back to work now so yeah thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one